What's good guys, this is Sergio and Mike from Fly Zone Drone. Today, I have to show you that this box right here, it's by Axis Manta 5 inch freestyle frame. And we're gonna be showing you how to put this frame together and also do the whole build video, all one video, and that way you guys can see how I do it, how the install installation is, what goes where. So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back and we will show you what's in this box. Stay tuned. We're back. Let's see what is in this box and how this baby looks. Yeah, this uh, we have what came in the box is they gave us a battery strap those are the good the goodies they gave us the battery um, pad to put your battery on top now what you see here is, is the frame the bottom frame we got the bottom frame We'll put this inside. We got the top frame. I like how it shines. You see that? Pretty nice. And we also got some uh, the, uh, the metal bottom plate to hold the arms. And we have the front camera bumpers. Put the camera and um, we also it can comes with the uh, this. Uh, Silver standoffs, which is pretty neat. Now let's take this out. So it comes with some M3 screws, another bag of M3 screws. And then we have there's another one M3 screws. So they give us about four, which is the last one right here. And they also gave us a 3D uh, front bumper. And they gave us four arms. One, two, three, and four. So we got four. And five inch arms. There you go. I will set these all on the table so you can see them all and then we'll show you how to build it. Alright guys, so let's get this thing going and build the frame. Okay. What we're gonna do is now, we're gonna take the, uh, we're gonna start out the arms, the four, the four arms. So we're gonna use the four arms. So what we're gonna do is gonna take these four. Okay. We're gonna take these four. Put this inside real quick. These four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this bad boy, this bad boy right here, upside down. Okay? Just like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put each one just like so. Okay? So, it doesn't matter which side you put it, this this side or this side, they both look the same to me. It's no biggie. So let's stick one in. I think that's why they gave you a uh, a filer, so that way, if it doesn't fit, you can file it in order to stick it to in order to get that sucker in. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's probably why they gave you a filer. That's even more hard work for us guys, bro. That is ridiculous. 
that's This one fit right through. Let's put the other one. This one went good. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, this one fits now. Now we're gonna use the uh, rest of the screws and that would be the M3 10 millimeter screws, okay? So, M3 10 millimeter will go the rest of all of these slots right here to hold the other four frames. Okay guys. Okay, so we have all four screws uh, on each one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So now it just holds it. See? It protects the arm for not moving. And even when you crash it, it holds, it makes that so tight that even, it won't even break. Look at this. Look, I can do as hard as I can. That's how strong and solid this thing is. I am so excited. I got this. So. All right, here. Now, we got the M3s, the 10 millimeters, and the 12. Now what we're gonna do is, we're going to install the, um, the standoffs, and then we'll put the top plate. So, this is the top plate. We're gonna put the standoffs, and then we're gonna put these bad boys, which is right here, okay? so. Uh, let's put the standoffs. So the long standoffs will go. Um, you have, remember, we have two standoffs. One is an M3 25 millimeter, and the other one is the uh, 20 millimeter. Okay, so this is the 25, which is a little bit longer, and the 20 millimeters are a little shorter. So 25s, a little, these are the 25s. And we have the shorter ones, see, what you can see. 25 and 20. So the 25s will go 
in in the back in the middle I'll show you where the 25 go so and we're gonna have to get the um, the uh, the screws that will go with these okay uh, which will be the um, the M3 8 millimeter which is um, there's 16 screws in there, 16 pieces, okay? Uh, so we're gonna have to do that. Um, yeah, so that's it. Let's do that right now. We have these right here. Here we are, right here, right here. Right here. The M3s, eight millimeter. And they come in 16 pieces. We got one, so that will go on the back. That will go on top of here, which is just like so. First, I would like to put my screw in. Screw these suckers in. Just like so. Or you can do it this way. And just keep turning until you're done. Okay, so and then we have, um, and these are your uh, 20 by 20 VTX. These are your small for your Vista. Now we have uh, one here and one there. So we have to put the standoffs there. Okay, so these are another standoffs. So we're gonna slide this one back in. And take the other long ones. I'm gonna fast forward this guy, so I'm gonna keep this video short. So. off are installed now uh, these front ones here all you have you don't need a standoff you don't need these standoffs here but you have these so it's basically this is how you install it just like this this one goes on top and the bottom right there so you don't need a standoff in the front because it already has a screw in the bottom here you just put it on top and you screw the top of this to the standoff but you have to put the top plate first in order to put that through. So what we're gonna use for this is we're gonna be using these long screws. So it's long enough to go to the plate, the thickness of the, the top plate, the thickness of this, okay, to go through here, all right? Let's do that now. So the bottom one, We'll go with the regular screws, which was the uh, M3 eight millimeter. So that one will go in the bottom. Voila, there we go. Give it a snug tight, not too much. You tighten everything last, everything is done. Okay, the next one. Looking mean, looking sharp. Man, I'm telling you, you gotta have one of these in your life. <laughs> this is for you, X, X Factor. You gotta have one of these in your life. <laughs> All right, so, there you go. We have everything, we have the screws here. Now we're gonna put the long screws here with this. Okay, so that's what this comes in play. This comes in play is to put screws on top of these two because of the thickness, so they have enough to go, f uh, long enough to, far, to go far in. Okay, now these are the normal ones, which will be these little guys, the M3. 
eight millimeter, okay? So, uh, and these will, well, this will be for the flight controller, guys. But we don't need these because I already have it that came with the stack. So, uh, this we should keep extra, just in case you have extra spare. So, uh, now, we're not gonna get into this right now, guys. I wanna put this on after we're done doing this, the, the soldering on the uh, ESC, the flight control, and the, uh, the for the motors. And everything, when everything is built completely, then what this comes in play, this comes last that I will be showing you guys, okay? Okay, guys, let's get the, uh, the stack mamba, okay? Put this guy in. Actually, guys, we have a problem here. But 30 by 30 mountain holes are right here. These are the 20 by 20. But you can see, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, so I thought about before about the, there's a plus nuts here. And these are the 30 by 30s. Okay, for the flight controller. And I already put the screw in there from the bottom. So I have to take these off, back off, and need to put the um, the longer ones through here that, for the flight controller. Okay, it's long enough for the flight controller to go through, to pass through. So, sorry guys, um, let's redo that. Put these rubber grommets first. these okay and then the battery let's you know what let's do the battery first uh, the label says it here minus negative positive negative is here so I'll have to grab this little guy here
Eat as much as you can. Let's put this um, capacitor. Cut this out. get as a heat shrink. Um, I don't want these metals to touch. I'm gonna heat the pan. That thing up. In and out, guys. In and out. Don't keep it too long, cause you'll take you you'll get the picture. That's it. We got that turned up. Go. Okay. Let me see, guys. It's looking beautiful, isn't it? So now let's put the, let's install the motors, um, and then we'll, we'll we'll put the wires in. Okay. So okay, guys. I'm back. We're gonna put the motor in. I already put one now. Okay. So we're gonna do the rest. Put the rest of the motors. Jeff. Uh, Spooner, uh, Spooner FPV. He's building me uh, some points for for this squad for the ma uh, the Manta frame for this squad. So I'm just gonna have to put two until he uh, sends me my prints that he's doing, and that way I can take these off and put it back in with the prints with the longer screw. And check his channel out, guys. Check Jeff uh, Spooner's channel. Um, he also builds quads as well. He does 3D prints. He uh, he builds a seven a seven inch. He also flies uh, fixed wings. Um, check his channel. Uh, we'll put his uh, channel down below in the description. Check his channel out. Um, he's a great uh, great guy. Great guy. He, he's a great pilot. So check his channel, guys. Give him some support. He's part of our Quad Mafia uh, member as well. Oh, I'm gonna wrap this right underneath the board. Underneath, it's gonna go like, like so. Okay, we're gonna tend the wires because I cut them short. I know the measurements that I want it to be. So we're gonna tend the wires.
I'm gonna put the grommets to hold it. Because I am not gonna solder on top. I, I just don't, personally, I don't like it like that no more. I like to solder on the bottom. It hides the wires. It makes it more clean built. So, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Oh, I'm gonna put these guys. This is for the wires. don't come out. Oh, I do open them. And you can push them. See how they stretch? Once you put the wires in and then they feed. So but this one, demonstration. There you go. The one is, stretch them. Slime right there. So you can see the wire, see that? I like to keep it this way just for a clean belt. You see the wires on the bottom? Just to keep a, keep a clean belt, I, I, I mean, that's what I would do. the wires from the motors I just put them underneath so it looks more like a clean belt you know no wires showing and that's why I prefer to continue and finish the belt and so now we got that done now we can put the flight control down uh, the ESC down and just see how It doesn't matter which wire goes where. You can put any of those wires in any of those pads, but 
this line here, make sure you put it in this in and where it says here, you'll see the number here. It says motor one. You see one, and then it says two. As long as this side of the motor line goes to motor one, which is one, two, three, and this side goes in motor two. But it doesn't matter which wire here goes goes where in, in motor two or which wire goes here in motor three. You can, it doesn't have to be in order. You can put this one here with, you know, it doesn't matter. Zip ties, zip ties, zip ties. And that's it. So far, so good. Alright, guys, we're gonna install the uh, Calic Vista, the Run Cam Calic Vista. So, what we're gonna do is install the unit, and then I will show you guys how to do the soldering on the uh, flight controller, which wires go where on the flight controller. And then the next step, we're gonna be doing a, a TBS Crossfire uh, antenna to the flight controller and um, that's it so let's get into it guys i got the we got the rubber grommets here you see which you can actually put this slide right in the screw in the bottom of the uh the frame that way the carac vista um it doesn't touch the frame the bottom of the frame so it gets so it get let's put the carac vista right here I want to zoom in with you guys so you see what I'm doing. So, so what I did was I put the screws underneath. See, with the rubber grommets underneath. Okay, so now I got the crossfire. Uh, First thing I want to do is I want to take this back out. I got to put the camera in. So, let's install the camera.
told you that to twist. I always twist. You know? I need to stick it back inside. Just like so. Put the GPS, but not right now. Installed. Um, now we're going to install the antenna for the Vista. Crossfire antenna installed. The wires are installed for the Vista to the flight controller and the crossfire. So um, and now we're going to install the camera. Let's put the camera. The screws for the camera. Test it out, push me luck, make sure everything is good, the soldering's good, everything. But before we do that, let's connect the antenna. The mechanic Vista antenna. There we go, that's it. Uh, Jeff is make is putting me one. Uh, from, uh, Jeff Spooner at PV is is uh, putting me a 3D print. The bottom ones because they didn't come with it. Only came with this and the front plate. The thing that's all. So stay tuned on that. I'm gonna put that in there. So right now let's just fire this one up. Get the smoke stopping. Put yourself a smoke stopping. This helps for not smoking up your light control. Smoke out. So let's connect this here. Let's connect. And we 
double check. Antenna's in. Everything else is in. Okay. See you back, guys. If we hear that beep. 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 That's good. And this will turn green. And I'll uh, let you know if uh, if it's red, it's, there's a short. If it's green, we did good. So ready? That's good. That's good. Did you hear that? Let's try one more time. that out. Good to go. There's a complete belt. The axis mounts a 5-inch frame freestyle. There you go. This baby's ready to be on beta flight. Configure 4.3 and this this baby's ready to go out and fly. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. We'd be more happy to help you out. And we always really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And that's it. So we're gonna take this quad outside for a flight and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What you, what you gonna do?